so today I'm going to Bruno in the Czech Republic to check out an Octagon MMA event for the first time. If you've not heard of Octagon MMA, you need to check out Octagon Hype. It's the show that Brian Lacey and myself do every other week, telling you all about the upcoming fights and events that they're throwing. And on a recent episode of the show, Brian invited me to experience it for myself. Would you like to come and watch Octagon 35 from Bruno with me? Do a little vlog maybe of your experience of the first ever Octagon show you get to experience live. Would you like that to happen? Absolutely. <laughs> Sign me up. So I've got my bags packed. We've got a taxi waiting outside. Get to the airport. So whilst I was in the air, the official weigh-ins were taking place. These are the really important ones where the fighters have got to make weight so that they can compete the day after. But thankfully, after landing safely, a quick three-hour car journey from Prague to Bruno, I made it just in time for the ceremonial weigh-ins. This is when the fighters are rehydrated, they're ready to go, pumped up, we've got a crowd. I've already seen James Lewis, the Brit. Big cheers for the Brits. Ian, JJ, go out. So with the ceremonial weigh-ins finished, Brian and I went for some food, a few drinks, and went to sleep. And I must admit, this is the most 70s, old school hotel I've ever stayed in. And I'm pretty sure there was some blood on the table. But luckily, three blinks later, it was fine. Here he Sammy, is. Sammy, mate, what's here this? What are you doing here? The commentary duo. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Could you say, could you please sign something for <laughs> Yeah. Could you please, could you please autograph? <laughs> Big fan. Big fan, yeah? Yeah? Mr. Yeah. Mr. Brian. Yeah. Could, yeah. Could yeah. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, mate. You getting in the octagon van? The octagon van. I feel like I'm, uh, I missed the memo about the dapper suits, you know. I didn't, I didn't quite, I didn't quite get that. You don't need one, really. <laughs> <laughs> You're that side of the camera. Yeah, that bikini looks great. <laughs> that bikini looks lovely. Honestly, the pink brings out your eyes. Do the tassels thing again. Do the tassels. Oh, yay! Thanks again, mate. Thank you. Cheers, dude. What's up? Everything okay? Yeah. What's up? What's up? Look at you guys! Beautiful, beautiful. I'm good, my friend. How are you? Yeah. So excited. The weigh-ins yesterday, the crowd was massive. Uh, again, really good atmosphere for the, the local fighters. And we're in the winning group arena. We're not in the tiny little stadium before. We're in a full arena with a full crowd. Oh, Ciao. Thank See you very much. Bye -bye. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about that. Thank you. There you go, that's the reality <laughs> of reality. <laughs> it's coming on with, okay guys, uh, I think that dad was okay. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> they weren't no convinced, he was not convinced <laughs> if that was okay or not. Let's get this, this, this is one of the best moments of any, any, any show where you get to walk up and in to the arena for the first time. Listen, I'm gonna let you walk in and Josh, tell the people what you think. Oh, what, are saying, this, mate? what are we saying, mate? What are we what? saying? I can't wait to see you. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Call it, uh, see the fight. We've just been complimenting you on the work you do with these because this is oh, the guy right. behind. Okay. Whenever you, anyone speaks to me about shows, they say they look great. This is the guy. This is the guy that does all this. Mikhail Pavel. Thank you so much. I yeah? appreciate it, really. Yeah. yeah, and he has the best haircut in the Czech Republic. Brand new after today. You, after after you. Come on. Stop. <laughs> Here we go again. It's good, right? It's yeah, good. it's an yeah. amazing place. Guys. So Brian's made the hookup of all hookups here. Flight to Bruno, yeah. front row seats. Let's get you in the cage. What'd you say, Josh? What'd yeah. you say? Sign I don't know why I'm, I look at the camera, but you're there. I know. And what am I you doing? You can't, you're just a slag for the camera. I'm a, I'm a slag for, <laughs> yeah, slot for the camera. Work it, Brian, work it. This way you sit, yeah? So this will be... Yeah, this will be where I do the comms. I'll be sat here for a solid six hours. That fridge will be empty. Lowe's and Cater wouldn't like that fridge, but I like that fridge. <laughs> in joke, in joke. Welcome to the Octagon Cage, Josh. Me. We are oh. in the Octagon Cage. Let's what go, let's say? go. <laughs> this is where it's going to happen, mate. This is it. Bad bit about that is when I jump, this thing's oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fresca. My left shoulder, left shoulder is a back. little bit little bad, so, that's it. but I, I would I would do this with one arm behind yeah. the back. Let's go. Okay, <laughs> I would do like, but don't don't hit my shoulder, right? <laughs> uh, so now I'm taking it in. I'm trying to feel what the arena's like, getting excited by uh, the prospect of this whole place being filled up, and then uh, just get set and focus. Be loose. Be ready. Be excited. Live the dream. Brian is an in-demand guy for the German audience by the looks of things. The machine that they've got going on at Octagon is absolutely unbelievable. So from like each country, each department, it's just a well-oiled, content-producing like masterpiece. And we're a small part of it with Octagon Hype. We need to make it bigger in the UK. That's mine and Brian's job. Even coming to this event, people have been talking to me about the show, about like, the insight we give, the way we do it, about you. You've had, you've had a little bit of love over here, mate, which it's I'm good. loving. I, I love yeah. it. I like, I'm just normally the little guy in the corner. Little guy in the corner. This Look at the, the size of the little guy. <laughs> <laughs>
bubbling under, riding it out, got it under the chin, got the tap. That is a solid finish for the UK. James the Bastard Lewis! Yes! Yes, yes mate! Boys, thank you! Well done, yes, lads, well done. Sick, mate, well done. Hey, he said it to me afterwards, he said after the interview, and he found out that Gabo was out, he said he was going to do that. That's yeah. what you do, right? And that was a tough fight. Get the win, get the finish, and then call your next shot. Wow. Absolutely made up, mate. Man. Made up to see you in there, what, what too. Fucking... How does it feel? Absolutely. I can't, I can't believe it, but I can believe it. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's like, done a lot of work to get here, but... Through all this shit as well, losing yeah. your bags, having to borrow a, gum, borrow a gum shield, borrow a cup. But we, we were all, like, all three of us had a chilled with it all week. Like, yeah. Just like, so what? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they were, like, when you'd won and you'd, like, you could see the elation yeah. and you just, like, let it all out. Yeah. yeah it's all just, buzzing for you. It's like a long week, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, you... You're sort of nervous at home, thinking I'm going away, and then you're here. I, I couldn't say I was nervous here today, do you know what I mean? I was ready to do it yeah, then. you looked at home, yeah. like it were, it were class. Honestly. Yeah, proper class to see. Absolutely. So, all right, the crowd just went wild for this fight. Hometown boy, out of Bruno, Czech Republic. I imagine this is going to be a fast fight. Some striking back and forth there. The cut man's got some work to do though, because that cut got opened up early. This is just a striking back and forth, man. It's, it's really tough to know which way to call this. Great fight though, absolutely great fight. Imagine how good the main card is going to be. Let's go. All right, so we've got Brian's mate, Mr. David Moon, having a successful start to the fight, pressing up against the cage. So David Moon, the fight's out of Canada, so this is the first time that I've understood what the corner men are saying. We can actually listen now and hear what they're calling out. They're asking for a jab, his corner's asking for a jab, saying, oh, he just got caught. He just got caught. Oh, oh, good clinch there. So his corner would just ask him to, you know, don't commit to every shot, just sit behind a jab. And as he said that, he got clipped, put back towards the cage, but he managed to fight. It looks like he's fought through that adversity. He managed to get a clinch in and he's, he's fighting back. Still two minutes left to go. Wow. He keeps getting caught with that overhand right. Giving it back though, he's giving it back. That was a tasty first round, tasty. Bring on round two. a mixed martial arts fight but every time he went for a takedown David Moon was like nope that takedown defense was unbelievable no idea who won that 29-28 Moon 29-28 Donald and 29-28 for the winner on split decision 
Jakub Hazel Donald. That was a close fight, that. David Moon's got nothing to be ashamed of with that fight. That was unreal. Coming event and the crowd has gone absolutely wild. We've got a UFC champion in the corner as well. The blink. He's coming from the red corner, Andrei AK47, Kalashnik! The one we've all been waiting for. Actually, I'm not predicting anything, mate. I'm predicting absolute beautiful violence for everybody to enjoy. This fence, I'm sitting on it. Josh. I've lost, I've popped my cherry. <laughs> Mate, unbelievable, what a championship fight. It could, that could not have ended better. Like even the prelims, like the prelim fights were just unbelievable. We're just back to back on it. Mate, thank you. Come here. Hey, Octagon Hack, enjoy.